Sermon on the Feast of the Taban Icon of the Holy Theotokos by Archpriest Sergei Baranov, Kherson Settlement, June 24, 2022. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. St. Paisios of Athos, when speaking about piousness and devotion, compares these two states. He says, piousness is like a sweet-smelling perfume, while devotion is ethereal essence. So different, these two notions, in their essence, we may compel ourselves to be pious, to some extent it is in our power, but devotion is not. If we try to compel ourselves to devotion, it will look like a funny theatrical performance. And often, Christians have no natural devotion to proximity of God and begin compelling themselves to it. And it looks rather awkward to others. This happens because devotion is not within our power. It is born naturally when the grace of the Holy Spirit comes closer. When God comes closer to people, they raise themselves on tiptoes and stand in awe. Devotion cannot be invented artificially without approaching God. This is the big difference between piousness and devotion. When we visited Jerusalem, we saw that piousness remained in the Jewish people. Sometimes this piousness comes to fanaticism. They observe piety in the tiniest details, but they have lost devotion and personal relationship with God. One pious Jew who presented himself as that strained at a gnat in our presence. He observed the rules of piety stipulated in the Talmud so much that he even had no devotion. That is why his piety turned out to be limited by some earthly, primitive, and graceless things. Considering himself a part of God's chosen people, he said, You know, God is everywhere. And I said, yes, he is everywhere and seems to be nowhere. Their notion of God has become eroded in this everywhere. It ceased to be concentrated in a person, a person who may be perceived personally. They only have a notion of God and the rules of piety, and they think they will preserve and observe them, and the Lord will have mercy on them. This is approximately and primitively. But we Christians should not only desire to have mercy, as St. Paul the Apostle says, I am ready to go to hell, but not to lose Christ. I do not need any reward. I need only Christ. Without rewards, salary, commerce, and conditions. Sweetest Jesus, I need you. Everything else is secondary. I can sacrifice this all. But, sweetest Jesus, you, this is true devotion. Devotion comes together with total sincerity and self-forgetfulness. And it differs from piety a lot. Sometimes our piousness smells bad before God. 
Piousness has a bad smell, while devotion is an ethereal essence. Our piousness is a part of spiritual law, but if we stop only at it, we will be nothing but religious fanatics who may come to madness and graceless states. Most Holy Theotokos, save us. My congratulations on the feast.